Hello everybody. So today's class is mainly on pollinating agents in a flower. So a brief recap. Flower has six parts: calyx, corolla, endosperm, gynosperm, thalamus, and pedicel. So based on that, and a brief idea on the other topics like how the fertilization process occur, the pollen grains reaches the stigma, and from the stigma, a pollen tube is formed, which reaches into the ovary where the ovule is found, and to the ovule the pollen grains travel and they reach the ovule and there the fertilization process occur and the transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma is called pollination and this is an example of a single pollen grain which reaches the stigma where the arrow points and the above process occur so how pollination occur with the help of pollinating agents that's how pollination occur So what are the types of pollinating agents we can say there are mainly two types first one is the biotic component and the second is the abiotic component so let's discuss one at a time the abiotic pollination this means pollination occur through non living things like water wind flower of paddy dandelion or wind pollination and they have light pollen pepper lotus show water pollination meaning they use dew drops and water to pollinate them what the medium use that's the type so look at this picture where the arrow points is the seed and the rest of the part is floating in the wind that is a wind pollination this one too these now there's a different one as you can see this is a lotus and the pollination that occurs here is the water one water pollination now the other part is the biotic pollination this means pollination occur through living things like animals birds insects etc So let's see a little clip to see the pollination occurring. Here the bee is found on the flower where it's trying to get its nectar. So what happens is that at this time when the bee interacts with the flower small small pollen is getting attached to the hands and the body of the bee. And from there it travels to another flower. or the same flower itself which we'll talk about in a later chapter and they pollinate meaning they bring the pollen from one flower to another or they bring the an- uh, pollen from anther to the stigma that is the function of pollinating agents and thus pollination occur now looking at this picture you can see the pollen grains on the bee and look at this one you can see the yellow spots here and there which is the pollen grains So look at this picture. As I told before, it is not just the bees that does this. Butterflies, birds are also different types of pollinating agents. The living pollinating agents, that is, the biotic component. This is another example. And I guess that rounds up today's class. Thank you.